In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God is one. Amen. Begin by reading Hebrews chapter 4, verse 14 to 5, verse 6, and then Mark chapter 8, verse 34 to chapter 9, verse 1. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Looking briefly across the world, we can see lots of examples of where people are wanting to gain, quite literally, the whole world. So we can see war, conflict, tensions, political machinations, death, destruction in places like, so wide and varied, like Afghanistan, Ethiopia, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Iran, Yemen, Israel and Palestine, Haiti, Myanmar, Mozambique, Ukraine, Somalia, Chad, Mali, Nigeria, much of Central and North Africa and West Africa, to say nothing at all of the ongoing problems in places like Iraq and Syria and Libya. Powerful, greedy, land and money-hungry people, leaving a trail of blood, destruction, misery, poverty and hunger. So what does God say to us about all of this? He is willing and willing you on to lose your life in the struggle of good and evil. He is wanting you to stand firm, to stand strong, stoman kalos, to stand beautifully against forces that seek to destroy and oppress. He is not looking for a weak, pathetic, wet, cowardly response to all of this suffering. Not at all. He is not looking for people who are virtue signalers or those who jump onto the latest bandwagon until they find another one going past. He is not looking for disciples who follow the crowd or who deliberately fail to see the whole picture and make easy decisions. No. Our God knows our weaknesses. He knows our ignorant and wayful ways. He is sympathetic and gentle. He is goodness itself. And as such, he is calling us to a courageous, prophetic, outrageous and from the world's point of view, disgraceful and pitiful end. He says, take up your cross and follow me. He looks at this adulterous and sinful generation and invites you to a life of self-crucifixion, a crucifixion that, beginning with your own heart, roots out all the weeds of sin, the weeds of passion, the deep-rooted weeds of pride and greed, and the fast-breeding weeds of divisiveness and lack of obedience. And in this way, we can continue his work of exchanging hatred for love and love in the end always wins your prayers god bless you amen